Out of all the bad ideas I've ever had, Danger Man was the most outrageous, reckless, crazy bad idea I've ever pursued. The idea was so ridiculous, I had to try it. I called it superhero-themed guerrilla marketing. To figure out what I could do with this idea, I made more than 30 episodes of The Danger Man Show on YouTube, and they were really bad. I had never been to film school, I just had a flip cam and a big idea. The concept was to combine a real-life superhero, yes, that's actually a thing, and there's a lot of us, with scavenger hunts, handing out treasure maps in a crowd, and rewarding a prize to the one who finishes first. I made dozens of treasure hunts, using Easter eggs, GPS coordinates, QR code stickers, puzzles, and treasure maps. Danger Man was a fool, in the mystical sense of the word. It was the right kind of madness. When he gave the call to adventure, I answered the call. I thought superhero-themed guerrilla marketing was just crazy enough to work. If only I could get some sponsorship money from energy drinks or local businesses. But wow, that was a total fail. But that's okay. Danger Man was a fun way to fail. My greatest failure was that I tried to make this whole thing profitable before I made it good. By my count, there were 11 other failures as well. And I wrote about them all in my first ebook, The 12 Great Failures of Danger Man. I needed some place for this ebook to live online. So I made a website at dangermanshow.com. I had never made a website before, but I did it anyway. I mean, you don't get to do anything well until you do it badly first, right? After that, I started making more websites and more ebooks and more videos, and I got really good at it. I was able to quit my boring day job and escape my cubicle. And now I don't wear a tie to work. I work from anywhere in the world that I have Wi-Fi and caffeine. To escape my cubicle life, all I had to do was follow my best bad idea into the gauntlet of embarrassment and let myself fail and let people point and laugh at me if they wanted to. And in return, I had the adventure of a lifetime. If I had never answered the call to adventure, if I let myself be scared by failing, I would still be wearing a tie, working for someone else. Instead, I chose to dream the impossible dream. And I found out the truth. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, so long as you follow the quest 